All right, in this short module, I'm going to be sharing with you how to create a broadcaster. So under here where it says email broadcaster, you would come in this area and you would actually go here and click on create new broadcaster. Now, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and uh, change this format. Usually uh, you probably don't want to do HTML. You want to go ahead and put it as a text. Okay, so that you can go ahead and write your message here you can say put in the subject title and then you want to enter you can enter in uh, either name email address but most likely it's going to be the name um, it's always good to put the name in the subject area so that the person can you know feel like it's more personal and, and to them versus this going out to a whole bunch of people Although it is going out to a whole bunch of people, but you know, you want to make it personalized. Okay. So when you start writing your, your, uh, uh, email, you can also do the same thing here. Okay. Um, or just put that there like that. Okay. So after you get done writing the email, putting in the, in the body area, what you can do here is uh, you can add an attachment. Maybe you wanted to add a PDF or um, or an ebook um, via PDF, and you can either send now or send later. You can actually use this date here to modify to, uh, for what specific date you want to send in, also the time. Okay, but when you're creating a broadcast, it's sometimes most likely you're going to be sending it now. Now. Um, you can also select the list that you want to send it to the the campaign list once you get done doing that then at the end here you want to go ahead and uh put in uh your name um an email address okay so that you can get a message every time someone subscribes to your campaign all right um oh no this is the area where you put in your name and email so that the person can reply to this to this message so it, it'll be coming from your name it'll be coming from it'll be coming from this email all right and um you can also click let's say you created um sequence messages you can also trigger those sequence messages after you broadcast this this email here okay so from there you would just go ahead and hit submit and then it would the email would go out to your uh subscribers all right it's that simple i will see you on the next module